Hello everyone, how's AJ Garcia with Garcia Mobile Home University here. So we are east of Atlanta, East Georgia, okay? And what I'm about to show you is some of the worst investments that you can make, but still a great investment, okay? So this specific uh, event we held here is actually slash Q&A and private shadowing. Okay, for those of you wondering what a shadowing event is, where we take you out to a mobile home park out in the field and we show you distressed units, uh, units during rehab and post ready movements, if you will. Along with that, we talk to handyman contractors, uh, mobile home park managers, park owners, etc. It's a whole giant Q&A. But what if you need your personal, your private shadowing, your own Q&A? We're about to advertise on that here. But show them this uh, mobile home specific. This is what, and I don't think it takes to this level to get people to run away. This is definitely, it, it looks worse than it is, I'll say that. And it does need a lot of work and needs a lot of attention, a lot of love and care. I'm not going to make my way in on this one here, but this investment here, you know, most people will consider a no-go, okay? Now, based on that is what are you looking at? Because remember, you know, we are mobile home investors. We're looking at this as an investment. We're not here to love on these things. Um, just from the outside, quickly, I'll break it down. You know, we would definitely need to obviously restructure. Those are not even two by four. This is not stick built again. This is mobile homes. So we would need to replace some of these. Put new insulation, new wall on the inside, new siding, of course. Why is all this missing? Who knows? Doesn't matter. We're going to replace that. And we have investors here, the same ones that brought us out so that we could check all these homes. We went home by home, basically breaking down. This one needs this, that, those. Where do you get the material? How do you shop? How do you hire handyman? All these questions that you need to know to be sufficient, proficient in your investments, right? So along with that, I mean, and we're gonna walk around a couple others. But the biggest issue in this home is obviously the siding. You know, it got ruined, it's been raining, it's been getting wet on, the insulation itself, you know. Where are you gonna do your shopping though? That is huge because when you think I, I have to get the material from my home, we're thinking home improvement lows. Nothing against them. We're not advertising for them, but you know there's better ways to do a shop for that, so that you can save money. Every penny out of your pocket, you have to make it back up on the investment. So the way to do it is to keep the cost low. Stop from spending. A lot of this material can be free. Ask us how. Let's walk around. The other side. And I mean, this, the whole park here is coming back up. You notice. Know, Abandoned to say the least at one point that you know, they're trying to bring it back up make it a family park So all this mess that you see, you know, they're in the process of cleaning it up and then for you park owners as well You know ask me how can I add value to a mobile home park? Well, if you look at this, this street for one, let's start with cleanup Okay, all these potholes. Let's fix it. Let's put speed bumps. Okay, that's rule number one same damages same repairs that are needed and it's material material cost that you're gonna have here it's not a whole lot of work as much as it looks like I mean putting siding and insulation on a mobile home it's not that much work and it's not that expensive either so it looks worse than it is but how do you decipher a good deal okay deal and not so good of a deal can you turn a not so good of a deal into a deal then we're talking negotiation so there's there's different steps into this and that's what we coach you shadowing event and even the webinars A through Z step by step this here was private because the investors are purchasing a lot of units so they wanted to know what do i need to do where do i start which one do i start on so we came out here and just broke it down and the whole event is about two hours long i think it's q a just random questions what about a contract how, how do i do structure an rto should i make some of these into rentals they even suggested uh section eight opportunities that's what you're looking at a lot of opportunities so the park itself has about 40 units total. There are a couple empty pads. Again, mobile home park owners, how do you add value to your parks? That's another way. If you have an empty pad, it is not only not making you money, it is costing you money. So let us bring some inventory. We have investors, students, they have mobile homes they can bring into your park and sublease them, maybe create rent to owns. It just depends, exit strategies. But all in all, it starts making you more money. The cap rate goes up, the value in the park goes up, everybody wins. So if you're interested in this option, it is not listed on our coaching site, though, GarciaMobileHomeUniversity.com. You can email us directly, and we'll be able to assist you. All right, till next time, thank you for watching.